the Indian Defence and Research Organisation has marked a pivotal advancement in indigenous defence capabilities through the successful validation of its military combat parachute system, which facilitates deployments at altitudes unattainable with prior configurations. Developed through collaborative efforts at DRDO facilities in Agra and Bangalore, the system completed its landmark trial via a combat freefall jump from 32,000 feet, achieving canopy deployment at 30,000 feet. This positions it as the sole operational parachute in the Indian Armed Forces, capable of functioning above the long-standing 25,000-foot threshold, particularly in low-pressure, sub-zero environments that challenge human physiology and equipment integrity. The evaluation featured three proficient Indian Air Force paratroopers departing a C-130J Super Hercules aircraft, utilizing oxygen supplementation to mitigate hypoxia during an extended freefall exceeding one minute. The descent underscored the system's precision, yielding controlled stability and exact landings despite the severe conditions where oxygen deprivation can impair consciousness within 30 to 90 seconds. Such performance affirms the parachute's robustness for high-stakes missions, transitioning seamlessly from freefall to guided descent. Conventional parachute systems in service, calibrated for operations up to 25,000 feet, depend on ram air inflation that necessitates denser atmospheres for reliable activation, often compelling premature openings. This design restricts aircraft to closer proximity of target zones, heightening vulnerability to detection by radar, infrared sensors and surface-to-air threats. In high-altitude theatres, such as rugged border regions, these constraints curtail the feasibility of swift undetected insertions for intelligence gathering, disruption activities or targeted engagements, thereby amplifying risks to personnel and operational timelines. The military combat parachute system emerges as a direct counter to these shortcomings, driven by the imperatives of contemporary warfare that prioritize extended reach and minimal exposure in expansive surveilled domains. Its architecture integrates a hybrid ram air framework with specialized low-pressure inflation protocols, ensuring deployment amid scant air molecules. The canopy employs cutting-edge nanomaterials in its lines and fabric, conferring resilience to winds reaching 50 knots and temperatures plummeting to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Automated altimeter-triggered mechanisms, coupled with adjustable harness sliders, guarantee activation even under duress, while the unit's 12kg profile, substantially lighter than international counterparts, permits agile handling and prolonged free-fall phases. Distinctive elements further elevate its efficacy. A diminished descent rate of approximately 4 meters per second facilitates softer impacts and extended airtime, while augmented steering via reinforced control surfaces enables precise trajectory adjustments. Compatibility with integrated oxygen delivery sustains operator awareness for up to 90 seconds of freefall, and its subdued visual thermal profile reduces detectability during transit. These innovations support payloads up to 200 kilograms, accommodating solo or duo configurations, with forthcoming adaptations for nocturnal operations via night vision interfaces. The system's benefits manifest profoundly in operational theatres, foremost by extending mission envelopes through superior range capabilities. By permitting exits at 32,000 feet, it amplifies aircraft standoff distances. Transport platforms can now release personnel over 100 kilometers from objectives, evading enemy air defenses that guard near a perimeter. Post-deployment, the enhanced glide ratio yields lateral displacements of up to 15 kilometers, empowering paratroopers to vector around obstacles, infiltrate denied areas, or converge on dispersed landing zones with navigational accuracy via GPS augmentation. This synergy of altitude and steerability transforms insertions from predictable vectors into elusive maneuvers, preserving the surprise critical for special forces efficacy. Tactically, it mitigates physiological hazards, broadening qualification pools and accelerating readiness cycles, while curbing injury incidences from high-velocity impacts. Strategically, indigenous fabrication diminishes import dependencies, fortifying supply chains against disruptions and enabling cost-effective scaling for regiment-wide adoption, potentially at 40% below foreign equivalents. Beyond military applications, the technology holds promise for civilian sectors, including high-altitude rescue and disaster response, where prolonged glides could expedite aid delivery in remote terrains. This development reinforces DRDO's trajectory toward technological autonomy, embedding advanced features that align Indian capabilities with premier global standards. As field integration advances, the military combat parachute system not only safeguards lives but redefines the parameters of aerial dominance, ensuring forces project power with greater reach, resilience and resolve.